What's going on, everybody? We're back at it. We got another trim card. It's out there being circulated. It is in the PSA uh, slab. It is the 75 Tops Gary Carter Rookie. It's brought to you again off the blowout forums. These guys do great work, great work. And I've had a lot of questions like trying to figure out how they tell and all this stuff. And this one here is going to go into real good detail on how they're able to tell that, you know, this card's not serial numbered. How do they know it's the same one as, you know, the ones being shown as a PSA 10? So let's pop that thing up. There's the card right there. Now, like I said, this was sold by PWCC's vault, which uses eBay to sell your cards on to. So let me go down. All right. This was the card originally. It was a PSA 8. The way they tell this stuff, first you can tell where it's trimmed at. It's trimmed because of the top. That's what they're looking at here. But it's minute, very minute on this trimming. As you can see, there was a little bit of white here in the corner. And basically they just cut it right across a little bit off. All right, now I'm going to show you how they know that this card here is different. Or different, but it's been trimmed, but it's the same card. So as you can see up here where they blow it up, there's a little bit more of an increase here. You guys can see it's all flush on the bottom. So the top was trimmed. Now what they've been doing is there's marks on the back of these cards. There's like little white marks, which might be harder to see here. And they match it up across the board. This is going up like this here, going up like this, this little white blemish here, this little like... I guess you'd call it kind of like a quarter half moon type deal. There's this above the S. It's showing here. This little white piece here is showing there. There's all kind of stuff onto it. So all of this here with the, the marks add up across the board. So there's, what, two, four, six, eight different pin marks on the back. That's how you're able to tell that this card is similar. Or similar to the same. I shouldn't say similar. <laughs> This is how they're tracking this stuff down with all these P new PSA 10s popping up. And how they're doing it is pretty amazing to me because this takes a lot of time and effort to do. It really does. Um, you can tell this was the, the original time it was graded, it was a different type of label back in the day from PSA. There's the new one with the QR code and all that. Different numbers, which messes up our pop reports again. Because somebody's popping it out and trimming or doing whatever. So our pop reports are never really accurate. But they give you an idea where it's at. Because trust me, there's enough of these been popped open from Beckett over to PSA. PSA over to Beckett that, you know, the pop reports are off. But I wanted to bring this up because a lot of people have been asking how they're able to tell if it's not a serial number card. And this is it right here. There's certain marks onto the cards that identify it as the same card. And this here just shows it right across the board, eight of them they did onto it. And this is just where he's showing the uh, difference in the gap. And then when you look here, you can see it with it flashing right here. Between the two, the serial numbers are showing. So it was trimmed up at the top there, everybody. Figured I'd push this out, and then it also gives the information a lot of people have been asking, like, how can they tell if it's not serial numbered out? It's a shame this stuff is happening in the hobby now, and the stuff's still out there. I'm going to put a link also to a video in the description. I want you guys to check this out. And it's a real, real good video that was done about somebody who went into trimming cards pushed it into their repack product. The same time frame, they were having um, the consignment places sell these cards on eBay. So there's a lot out there. They've caught a lot of these, um, but there's still a ton more out there. But So if you get a chance, I'll have the link in the description as well, too. Click on that video, and it'll explain a whole lot of what went on out there. Not trying to get the guy views or subscribers, nothing like that, but they did a very, very good job on this video. And it has the whole history behind the trim card scandal on to. Alright everybody, take care, have a good one, and I'll catch y'all next video.